Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So, we're gonna do a little vlogging action. I wanna give you guys an update, cause as you guys know, I got a wisdom tooth taken out yesterday up here. I do wanna show you the tooth. Before I do, there will be a warning. So, just wait for that warning. It'll be sometime in this vlog. Cause I currently don't know where it went because I had it somewhere and now it's like gone. I think Becky moved it. It's like in a little like container situation. But the only reason why I want to show it is because I want everyone to see like how horrible, like it, mm, I can't even, the fact that I even went into an emergency tooth removal situation when the dentist had no appointments open just kind of shows how like, painful it was like painful isn't even the right word I literally felt like I was dying but I want to give a little update I feel so much better I thought I was going to be in like pain because I literally had a bone come out of my mouth but I'm in no pain let's knock on wood let's hope that that's wood I was knocking on the cabinet love I think my mouth just is very relieved and grateful that it no longer has like this thing in its mouth just infecting and hurting it and stuff so I honestly feel like that's why I don't feel pain I know that's like weird but so I have a lot of people asking me like what book are you reading I am reading Elevation by Stephen King so good I recommend it so what it's about I am not even halfway through I'm almost halfway through like literally almost so far what it's about is this guy he is like losing weight every time he steps on the scale like he's getting lighter and lighter he loses like two pounds a day he doesn't know what's happening his clothes still fit him and like if he has weights on his body the scale will still say that he is losing weight so i think it's like a gravity thing because you know stephen king he does some crazy stuff and then there's these two married lesbians who own a diner and their diner isn't getting as much business because they're openly married. So it's really interesting. Like, I'm really enjoying it. I'm curious to see how it pans out. I love it so far. So if you're interested in that, definitely give it a try because Stephen King is brilliant. So I know everyone is different, but this is important knowledge to have and it worked for me. I have been getting mega heartburn for months now. Every single time I drink water, it started getting worse and worse and worse. Like it's happened to me for years, but in the last like five months or so, it's been bad. So I started doing a lot of research. Turns out that for me, because I did test it and I really wanna document this, that Water with lower pH balances is what is causing me to have heartburn. At first I was like, it can't be that simple because I thought something was wrong with me. I have been drinking higher pH balanced waters. This one on here says it's 7.5 or higher, which is good. Like probably the best you could have is like in the eights or like the nines. So Walmart is our closest store. So Walmart at Walmart, or at least our Walmart, this is the highest pH balanced drink. It is the buy drink and it does say it's 7.5 or higher, but this has been tested by so many different people and it's actually in the eights. So it's crazy that they have it um, on here as 7.5 because they could possibly sell this saying it's 8.0 or higher because every single time someone has tested it, it has been higher. It has been in the eights. I have been drinking higher pH balanced waters. I, why, like I ramble too much and I don't get heartburn while drinking those waters at all. So if you notice that drinking water is giving you heartburn, try, just try, do your research, see which waters and what brands are the best. Drink water with a higher pH level. And if you do research, you'll see which levels are good and which levels are bad. And I promise, or at least, it worked for me, so I promise it'll work for you because I can't imagine that it wouldn't. I'm drinking water and I don't have heartburn and it's actually such a big relief. He's hanging up a wind charm. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, I gotta see this. 
What? I was about to put this up there. <laughs> Wait, let me see. I have no shoes on. Oh my god. Touch it. No. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but I was about to hang it up there, and I was like, "Oh no, that thing looks like angry. It'll attack me." Hang it somewhere else. That's our gay flag. That's our gay flag. <laughs> I don't know how much airflow it's gonna get there, but didn't Becky put that up? The birdhouse. Like the actual birds put trees in there. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> tree. <laughs> Those are branches. <laughs> I have a whole tree in here. Isn't that cute though? Twinkie. Hi, baby. Does it have eggs? I didn't see you come out behind me. Yeah. Is there eggs in there? No, I don't see any. That's well, I mean, that's cute. Right? Good job. Cute. Come on, twink, twink. <laughs> Is Queen Sly? Look. Look at that, babe. Hi. Okay, so I'm just eating. I took a nap. That's why I look the way I do. When I, when I sleep, I get a little bit swollen, especially because everything I'm eating since I got my wisdom tooth out has had a lot of sodium in it. <laughs> I'm gonna admit, because they gave me a list of things I'm allowed to eat and it's just a lot of sodium. Especially this, um, I showed you guys in one of my last videos. It was like a chicken noodle, um soup and it's just the sodium is crazy and today well right now i'm having a velveta shells and cheese which the sodium on this is 600 600 Ugh. i can't wait until i can start eating like regular foods because it's like you know that saying where it's like you miss what you can't have or like you want what you can't have type deal And these are so soft, so I barely even have to chew them. I don't know if I told you guys, but I probably did, because I tell you guys all the little pointless details of my life. I am using Trisha Paytas's purse that came in her subscription box as a makeup bag, and it's giving me all the life that I need, so... A little eat with me segment so what I'm gonna do is oh I forgot to tell you guys today is day one of taking triple the amount of my mood stabilizer that I started with so fun times so we're gonna see how that starts treating me and I'm hoping for the best. For the best. I'm I'm hurting a little bit like emotionally cuz I try so hard to be open with the things I can be open with. Um and that I feel comfortable being open with. And people are taking this whole, me having a psychiatrist and me being bipolar and having obsessive compulsive personality disorder and like depression and anxiety. Like it, people are taking these, these things and like turning them into something they shouldn't. I'm confused by it. You know, a lot of people were rooting for me to get help and I did. I am. I love my psychiatrist. You know, I feel very comfortable to tell her anything, honestly. And that is what I was looking for. And she's there to help me. You know, she has her little degree situation like plastered on the wall you know 
I usually don't get a lot of hate. Um, I do in comments, but personal messages. Lately, I've been getting a lot of hate about how your doctor's a quack. Your doctor's, I'm just like, eh, eh. okay. <laughs> I literally can't satisfy anyone. Um, you know, there just comes a time where you you stop trying to satisfy other people. And you start trying to satisfy yourself. You know. Like. Becky pushed me to see the psychiatrist. Um, people who actually cared about me. Pushed me to do this. And. I feel like if it wasn't for Becky. And it wasn't for. Some of you watching, I wouldn't have done it. This is so, like, I should have showed you guys how much came in this. Like, it's like nothing. I literally have one bite left. You guys saw me eat this whole thing that fast. So. I'm gonna go get some water. Today's vlog was kind of meh <laughs> some of my vlogs will be meh i'm so sorry for that but i am gonna end this video here i do have a few little videos that i want to film today so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try to be productive i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye